Fast fashion? It's how most of us choose to dress. It's cheap, sold by big box retailers, and usually it's easy to get. Sounds good, right? Fast fashion, it's, it's a big problem. We're just creating mounds and mounds of waste that the earth doesn't have time to even break the waste down. I just think that there should be more designers and less big box stores. One, because of the waste. Two, because you can better serve the client because you can understand your community better. And I think people used to understand this, you know. I think before a certain time period, most people were getting their clothes made either at home by mom or tailor. They saved up for it. Fast fashion also is an issue when it comes to labor. These fast fashion companies, they're more focused on speed versus the employees. The more people that are awakened to that allows us to kind of have an understanding of the importance of, you know, recycling clothes and um, upcycling different things and allowing us to build a community within the city um, of like minds who have tapped into that as well. Each of these Baltimore-based designers, who we invited to participate in Style Resurrected, creates sustainably in a growing effort to combat fashion waste. For some, the calling started early. We're here where it all started. Oh, absolutely. So listen, um, I grew up on this block. Um, I lived on this block from about two to like maybe six or seven years old. And this is where it all kind of started out with, um, with sewing, making clothes for my Barbie dolls and my Ken and Skipper. That's where my whole concept of sustainability came from, not knowing then all that time. That's what generates my creative process. Like it always starts from home. I would cut out little fabrics, front and back, do some pants, do whatever just to show my creativity and um, put a different look on him because I love to play dress up and I wanted to just kind of like just dress him up and just give him a new vibe. <laughs> Bam, I already starting out as a kid, I was already an upcycler. Upcycling is where you uh, basically you take two items and make them into one. That allowed me to be unapologetically me. Due to, you know, the, the economy and in the city, um, I wish I actually had this um, this building here. And a, and a lot of uh, history that go into a lot of us artists here in Baltimore, um, you know, we really can't really go back to it. So it's really kind of like crushing a little bit because I wish I could show you that, but it's definitely inspiring because I could come and plant my feet Deep. on this Soil. earth, on this ground. Yes. Um, that represents a part of me and my childhood and, you know, where I grew up. The memories that they can't tear down. Oh, absolutely. Definitely and can't tear down. That you memories. shared that with us in this footprint on this soil, you know, helps us to reconnect with that era that inspired you. Oh, absolutely. Hi. Hi. How are so you? good to see good you. To see it's you. Good to be here. Thanks for coming. Oh, thank you for having me. <laughs> Consumerism is the ill. I mean, I think at the root of it, it means people are trying to be happy through things, as opposed to just trying to be happy, <laughs> you know. You can't really talk about the landfills without talking about that very um, true fact. I am so excited to be here and see the whole collection coming together. I almost never work in black. Well, we'll see what happens. Well, it's October 31st. Right, maybe that's why. <laughs> maybe that's why. For a sustainable designer like Ileana, even scraps continue to live on in her designs. I do a lot of one size fits all. Zero waste. Zero waste means you use everything that you cut in the design. There's no reason to throw things away. Yeah, and yeah. it's you know, one of a kind. Mm -hmm. And look where it comes from. It's always one of a kind mm -hmm. for, for the most part. You know, so if we can steer people towards, you know, getting things that they really like, that are really different. The other thing, people are afraid to be different. <laughs> you know, they're afraid to be different. I don't know why. But sometimes what people are looking from a designer is innovation. I have more to say with my own work, so um, yeah. Having um, platforms like Sustainable Style yeah, provides you yeah. the opportunity. You said it, you said it. I think the through line is integrity. Like vintage clothing is made integrally. It's made to last. So we'll take things that may have kind of played their way out of one closet 
and we're taking them and turning them into something else so that they can be a mainstay in someone else's closet. Rich. Hey. Thank you for inviting me. Thank you for coming. We're really excited about outerwear. And tis the season tis for the blazers season. and yes. coats. Yes. All the things that people kind of know our brand for. It's a staple silhouette. It's a staple mm -hmm. silhouette. All shapes, all sizes, uh, all orientations. Mm -hmm. And presentations. Yes, that's right. <laughs> Absolutely. Sustainable style is um, one understanding in your closet that there are certain things that everyone should focus on when like defining your style or how you present, um, such as like silhouettes, like things that like shapes that always work for your body and things that just make you feel good and look good. So I like to make sure that those clothes stay in rotation and make sure that they, they are never out of style, if you will. So this is one of our staples. Everybody knows Vintage Rivals is about the painted trench coat. It's All about our, it. like our mainstay. So we've got like these days, kind of 3D paint jobs in, infused into this very familiar structured coat. But we added like a 3D paint element to it, added some line work to make it a little extra groovy. No one looks bad in a trench coat. This is true. I think it's structured to build any body shape or really form any kind of silhouette with any body to just make everybody look classically good. So yeah, I definitely wanna get you to try this on so we can see what it looks like on you. I'm totally beyond <laughs> excited. When you gravitate toward what you are inspired to wear, rather than what trends tell you to wear, that is when you activate your creativity. And that's where sustainable fashion comes in. You enter a vintage boutique or a thrift store, you're going to gravitate where your aesthetic impulses inspire you and you align with that energy and that perspective and that's where personal style and individual expression live. Sustainable style, once embraced, stays with you. When people focus on, again, knowing the things that matter to your style, you can shop more and more intentionally and keep sustainability in the forefront of our minds. Get clothes that are made well. Get clothes that are made to your taste. Get clothes from a person that when you come back to them, you can say, oh, this ripped a little bit. Okay, I'll fix it. It's the way human beings should live when the priorities are in place. The thing that I love about sustainability is that it reinvents you, it reinvents your heart, it reinvents style, and it reinvents who you are as a person because you can create what you want and live how you want and be fabulous. How do you enter this era of sustainable style and sustainable fashion? It's all there right in your closet. Take a look. Because instead of relying on trends, you're gravitating to a clothes that were selected by you because they spoke to you in the store. When you get that feeling from putting on something that you love, that speaks to you, it's not going to end up in the trash. Fashion has a shelf life. Style is timeless.